Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today, and this is one of the bonus projects for the Farmhouse Christmas Stamp Kit of the Month. It's one of our uh, pizza boxes that we sell in the catalog, so you're just going to assemble the box just like normal. Uh, this time the shiny side is on the inside, so sometimes uh, you can switch those around if you'd like. Okay, here are the supplies. We've got Whisper White cardstock. The kit's going to have just about a quarter sheet. Um, just for the tree, the wreath, and the greeting. And then we've got cherry cobbler for the fence here. So that's like five by one and a half. We've got a piece of whisper white for um, the snow bank here. And then this is the sheet of paper we're gonna cut. So that's the first thing that we're gonna do. And then a piece of mossy meadow that measures one and a half by one. And I need to grab that. <laughs> And there's that piece. Okay, so let's get the trimmer out and go ahead and cut our pieces for the box. So the top part that covers the top of the box, that piece measures uh, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So that's gonna be our first cut is three and a quarter. And three and a quarter and then we need four pieces that measure three and a quarter by three quarters so I'm actually going to use this side over here and cut the three quarters so one two I'm only going to be able to get three you're going to need four I'm actually just going to skip that since this is my um, sample um, I'm not going to worry about decorating the back. That would be this piece right here is the one I'm going to leave off, okay? Because I'm going to save this for something else. So what I'm going to do now is take my adhesive and add that on the back side and add it to the top of the box. And then these panels also. These boxes are really easy to use, especially if you need something quickly. And I think you get eight to a pack, so they're pretty affordable as well. Okay, now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp the images and then we'll cut them out in a few minutes. So I'm gonna take the cherry cobbler and I'm gonna stamp the Happy Christmas Wishes. Oh goodness gracious, I need to clean that. Okay, so let's try that again. I'm gonna stamp it closer to the edge. Now, if you guys are not a fan of fussy cutting that out, you could cut it out using the framelit. So I'm gonna stamp a second one and show you what I mean. You're gonna have plenty of um, cardstock in your kit to do this, okay? Uh, now what I'm gonna do is take the Memento ink and I'm gonna stamp the tree. And now I'm gonna stamp the wreath with also with Memento ink. Okay, we're gonna take the Smoky Slate. Let me get this back over here so you can see it. The Smoky Slate, um, what is this called? Stampin' Blends. You can use the light or you can use the dark. It's whatever you prefer. Okay, so while I'm coloring, I'm going to ask this question, but I'm going to ask it probably several times over the course of the next month or so. Um, I think that I am going to put my 
sewing videos back on my Chicken Scratch channel. Um, I kind of moved them away because, well, there was lots of different reasons. Um, my biggest one was that I was afraid that people were thinking I wasn't working and that I was just sewing. When that's sewing is like my downtime, and of course, everybody needs a little bit of downtime. Um, yeah, especially when you work 80 hours a week. So I'm kind of thinking about adding them back to my main channel, and I just want to ask your opinion. Um, but if you're going to be like really snarky or mean I don't really want I don't really want to hear that <laughs> I get enough of that on a daily basis with all the unhappy people online so I don't I don't need any more of that and anyone that's a blogger or a youtuber uh, they know what I'm talking about and since I've been doing um, this since 2006 I have had my feel of it um, but I always say I've met some of the nicest people in the world and I've also met some of the nastiest and that's with anything. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is get the big shot and we're going to cut everything out. So let me move this stuff over. Okay, so here's the big shot. Magnetic platform and a cutting pad. We'll start with the little fence here and let me grab that extra piece of cardstock that I like to use instead of using the precision plate. I don't, I, I won't even say what I was going to say. Um, I don't even know where it is. I don't mind saying that. Y'all know that my office has kind of been in a little disarray this year. I'm going to go through here one more time so that it pops out really nicely. Okay, we'll set that aside for now, and then we're going to cut the snowbank. So this piece of Whisper White here, that's the one that we're going to cut the snowbank out. So I'm just going to place it at an angle, and let me think about this. Let's bring this box back over here so that we can see how to cut this. So I'm just going to take it just like that. See? Okay? And I picked that up for my sake just as well as y'all's. Make sure I do the right thing. Oh goodness, it's going to act as a snail too. Okay, is that good? Yeah. So there's my snow bank. So I don't want to throw that away. Now the tree. So we'll put this on here. And place that there. And next is the little wreath. Okay, so now we've got the little mossy meadow piece that I have misplaced. Here it is. So we're going to cut out the little bows. Okay, now I'm going to cut this image out with this framelit that's included in this uh, set just to show you that if you prefer not to freehand cut that happy Christmas wishes, you don't have to, okay? Okay, so let's get all of our pieces back in here. We've got our little fence. Where's my paper piercer? Usually when I uh, run it through twice, it just pops right out. There we go. Okay, so here we go assembling this thing. I, I feel like I've lost something, but we'll figure it out in just a minute. Okay, so this is going to get added right to the very bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to turn my um, piece over and use my liquid glue. 
If you haven't used the liquid glue, it does actually work fantastic. Okay, so the fence, well, let's place the tree kind of where we want it, okay? Kind of about right there. If you see the greeting right here, it is, it is a little too big. But what you could do is angle your tree and then put it there. But that's your choice. It's up to you. I'm going to cut mine, okay? So I've got that, that other one here. I just want to show you that you have options. You could also alter it, you know, move it around. <laughs> or you could just trim this. And let me show you. Just take your scissors and whack, whack. Whack. And there we go. So then it would fit. You know what? And I'll use that just so we'll, everyone can see a different version. So again, the, the tree is going to go here. And then we want the fence to go right behind it, but not all the way down at the bottom. Okay? So it's going to go right about there. And we want our poles what are those things called? I don't know. I have a fence back there, but not sure what these things are called. But I want them to line up to the edge so it works out perfectly. I'm just going to cut right across there. Okay. I'm going to get my silicone mat. And this time I'm going to just use a little bit of glue. Last On one of the earlier projects, I added entirely way too much of this stuff. And it got everywhere. It does dry clear, but still, I I made a mess of it. Okay. I really do prefer using the Xyron <laughs> when I make little teeny tiny things like this. For those of us that have been paper crafting a long time. Okay, there's the fence. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a, a dimensional on the back of the happy Christmas wishes and then just add it right there. I still think I prefer cutting them apart. I think it's still cuter and I want to cut it just a little bit more. <laughs> Y'all are going to laugh. Okay, so it's going to go on the box right about there. And then now we'll put dimensionals on the back of the tree. I'm going to use a regular dimensional up here at the top where there's that big section. And then I'm going to take a couple minis and place them on the bottom. That should be good. And I know on the video y'all can't really see it, but the um, the tree has uh, some shimmer to it. So I'm going to show you a couple different choices. Uh, you can use the frost white shimmer paint along with a spritzer. Can you believe I've lost my spritzer right now, the one for this? It's somewhere in here. But you can also use the Wink of Stella. So if you don't have the um, frost white... Because you mix that with, um, sorry, my phone is dinging. I forgot to put it on silent. Um, if you, you mix the frost white shimmer paint with alcohol and, um, and just a spray bottle or our little spritzers. Uh, but you can use the shimmer paint as well or the Wink of Stella. And look, they're kind of very similar. Okay, so let's add these little bows. I have to tell y'all a secret. I had to pause the video to find my little my little wreath. I actually didn't find it. I had to stamp another one. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use the Take Your Pick tool. And what I'm going to do is take... I'm just kind of forming it to make sure that I don't have too much. So I've put a little bit of adhesive glue, liquid glue on there. Well, goodness gracious, come back here. You, ideally, you want to pick it up so that you can place it exactly where you want it. So that one's going to go there. And then I'm going to pick up the next one. So again, I want to make sure that it's turned right side up. And get a little bit of glue. And put the next one there. 
Okay. And then one here. Okay, so I need a little bit more of the liquid glue. And it's easier to do this in a line instead of just a, like a round ball. That way you can just pick up just a little. Okay. And then this one's just going to go right back here. You could skip that one if you wanted to. And now for the wreath, you could use your liquid glue if you want to. But I actually like to use a glue dot. So I'm just going to pick up a glue dot now. Okay. So there it is. And we're just going to add it right about there. You could pop it up if you wanted to. Okay, so let's compare. Which do you like better? I still like this one better, but it's nice to show some variety. So however you want to make it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye.